Welcome to the respiratory examination video. To start off the respiratory examination, you will need to complete wiper. Wash your hands, introduce yourself with your full name and state your role. Ask for permission to do the examination. Make sure your patient is adequately exposed and positioned at 45 degrees. You may now begin with inspection from the end of the bed by asking the patient to take a deep breath. Look around the bed for any paraphernalia of respiratory disease, such as inhalers, oxygen masks or sputum pots. Now, start your peripheral inspection with the hands. Look specifically for clubbing, tar staining, respiratory carbon dioxide retention flap, to do this, ask the patient to put their hands up as if they are stopping traffic. During this time, you can check for a bounding pulse, which is a sign of hypercapnia. You can also check for peripheral cyanosis and a tremor, which could be caused by the use of salbutamol. Moving up to the neck, check the level of the jugular venous pressure, which can be a sign of core pulmonale. Moving on to the face, to inspect for conjunctival pallor and central cyanosis. Inspection of the chest. You are now looking for asymmetry, respiratory distress and scars. Start by palpating the apex beat and feel for right ventricular heave. Palpate the trachea warning the patient first as it can be uncomfortable. To do this, place your second and fourth fingers on the heads of the clavicles and your middle finger in between, feeling for a centrally located trachea. Feel for chest wall expansion. Percuss the chest by starting at the clavicles and percuss across the chest, assessing like for like, comparing each side. Auscultate the apices of the lungs by using the bell of the stethoscope. Listen to the rest of the chest in the same places as percussion using the diaphragm of the stethoscope. Assess vocal resonance in the same areas of the chest, asking the patient to say 99 when the stethoscope is on their chest. You could instead feel for tactile vocal fremitus. This would be done as part of the palpation section of the examination. You only need to do one out of vocal resonance or tactile vocal fremitus as it provides the same clinical information. Reposition the patient sitting forward. Whilst they are sitting in this position, it is a good opportunity to feel for lymphadenopathy using a systematic approach. Repeat IPA on the back with inspection, palpate for chest inspiration, percuss and auscultate including vocal resonance or tactile vocal fremitus. To finish off the examination, check for peripheral oedema. You may also want to ask for the pre-expiratory flow rate, oxygen saturations, respiratory rate and sputum pot. Thank the patient and help to cover them up. Explain the examination is over and offer to help them get dressed.